Welcome. My name is Jesse and you are listening to The Wake Up Call. This show is about opening your eyes to how you've been living, bringing awareness to the standard you've been operating at, and helping you start living to your full potential. There are two ways I'll help you do this. One, by disciplining your mind, and two, by strengthening your body. It's time to take stock of your current performance and go to the next level. Let's do this. Guys and girls, welcome back to another episode of The Wake Up Call. And today's one is going to be talking about whether or not you should train if you're feeling under the weather. So as I record this, we are entering June, so we're, we're not too far into June, and we're coming into the winter months. So it's gonna start getting wet, cold, windy, and more often than not, people are gonna get sick. Whether it's you, whether it's somebody you work with, whether it's somebody within your vicinity or in your home. It's more than likely that somebody is going to start feeling under the weather. And this is something that I think is very pertinent for you to understand in terms of whether or not you should be training and exercising or not. And the reason I thought it would be a good time to do it is it's just uh, just ahead of the winter months, but also for the fact that I'm actually not feeling super great right now. I generally fire on all cylinders and feel pretty good every single day. It's because I look after myself, I'm attentive to what I eat, what I drink, what I listen to, what I read, and I care about my body. So I generally don't get sick, but I'm feeling a bit average, a bit meh. But I wanted to explain and give you guys a bit of an understanding of what to do when you're feeling under the weather. So first things first, there is a difference between not feeling up to train, so that's just you know a lack of motivation, like, oh, just can't be fucked, I don't wanna train, and physically being unwell or sick. Okay, so you need to objectively assess the difference before you figure out whether you're actually sick or whether you just don't wanna train. Okay, so you need to do it objectively and get some unbiased assessment. And this, there's a couple ways you can determine whether or not you're under the weather or whether you know, you've know you just had a shit day or you're just feeling a bit average and you just don't want to train. There is a difference between the two. So <clears throat> you probably hear my voice is a little bit raspy. Uh, it's because I've had a bit of a sore throat. I've had a little bit of a runny nose. So these are all symptoms that my body is fighting something, whether it's a common cold, whether it's the man flu and the worst flu that has ever hit the face of the earth. Men, you understand what I'm talking about? When we get hit, it hits us harder than it has hit anybody in the face of the earth ever, okay? But there's some things you can assess and figure out whether you are actually unwell or whether you just don't wanna train. So this might be feeling hot or cold. It might be signs and symptoms of feeling just overall fatigue and lethargy. You know, you might get the body aches. You might have a loss of strength and be out of breath quicker than normal. So let's say, you know, running up a flight of stairs is no big deal for you. Let's just say you do that every day on your way to work. And then one day you do it and you're like, holy crap, that just absolutely took it out of me. What's going on? That's an indicator that your body is perhaps fighting something more than normal. Another thing you can use to check uh, your general health is your resting heart rate. I checked mine recently for the first time in a long time and it was about the same as it normally is when I used to check it on a very regular basis. It was 44 beats per minute. Uh, yeah, 44 beats uh, per minute. That was my resting heart rate. So let's say you, you know, for example, like for me personally, my heart rate generally sits between 45 and 50 beats a minute. If my heart rate starts recording, this is at rest, by the way, so this is not during exercise, this is, just, this is at rest. If your heart rate is sitting, or in my, in my case, if it starts sitting consistently above 50, I can be certain, or well, have some form of certainty that my body is either being overworked, so it might be a form of overtraining or under recovering, but it also might mean that the body is fighting an infection, a cold, where the body and the immune system is just having to be worked harder than it normally would. That would be indicative that you're actually feeling unwell, okay? Uh, blood pressure as well, if your heart is having to pump uh, if it's having to work harder than normal just to complete daily activities and functions, that's a sign to maybe back things off and let your body recover. Another thing, 
this is particularly true for me as well, it might be for you as well, is a lack of appetite. So if you start losing your appetite, if you're normally you know, really hungry after a day of work or during work, and you suddenly don't feel like eating, that's a sign that maybe something's up. The body is struggling to overcome whatever it is, whether it's a virus, whether it's an infection, whether it's just the common cold, or whether it's just, you know, you've got the sniffles. So this is a system that you can use to actually identify what position you are in and your readiness to train. So this is the traffic light assessment. So if you've got a, a license and you've driven anywhere, you understand the traffic light system, hopefully. I hope to God you understand what I'm talking about here. The green light, the orange light, and the red light. So this is, this is how it works for you. Green means go. So if on any given day you wake up, you've had good sleep, your energy levels are kind of what you would class as normal, nothing has happened to put you out of your stride, that means you're on a green light go you can just happily go and train the house down you can do whatever training you want and do it as hard as you can with good form this is not to say be an idiot and just lift ridiculous weights with shit form no it just means you can train intensely to your level so if for example your program said you're doing four sets of four to six reps if you feel good and you've got that kind of and you're in the green light zone so to speak, I would encourage you to hit the higher numbers on the rep range in your training program. So if it says four to six, I would say go and aim for six. So when you feel good, you've got the green light, go and train, go and just do whatever you can, work hard. Orange is the next uh, progression, and this means proceed with caution. So as when you are in your car and you're driving, if it's an orange light, it means proceed with caution. If you are right at the white line and it's hit orange, it's unlikely you're going to stop. You're already pretty much past or almost at the point of no return. So you've got to keep going through the traffic lights. Orange is proceed with caution. So let's say you're not feeling particularly great. Let's say you, you feel like you're at 80%. 80% isn't 100, but it's not 0% either. So this is where it could go one or two ways. It might mean you feel well enough to just start training. Maybe it's okay, you're just gonna go and start with the warm up and see how you feel. Just go and warm up and see how you feel. Sometimes that's enough to get you out of your funk, so to speak, and things just start to click. The body starts moving, there's more blood flow, and things just happen to work. You just feel good on that particular day. If that's you, I would say, if you're at 80%, maybe aim for the lower number on your rep range. So if it's four sets of four to six reps and you're feeling at 80%, okay, maybe six is out of reach. Maybe just do four reps. And if that feels okay, next set, maybe try for five. But you're proceeding with caution. You're not just going in there and smashing things. And you're, not cert you're certainly not hitting PBs. But you're getting in there and you're doing what you can. So something that I did... Uh, the other day, I did yesterday actually, I wasn't feeling too crash hot, um, is I just did a circuit. I just did a whole body circuit. I did all of my, my four movement patterns, push, pull, hinge, squat across my session. I also added in some carries as a filler exercise. And I just moved. You know, there was, there was a bit of structure to it, but I'm certainly not going to make massive improvements and and strides forward with my strength and fitness, but I moved. I just got my body moving. I did what I can. I didn't go to muscular fatigue or technical failure or any of these things, but I moved. I got a session in and I felt okay for it. So that's the orange, proceed with caution. Now red, red means stop. Do not train as planned. If you are feeling average, 50%, you know, you're, sh you're showing symptoms of being unwell. Like I mentioned, maybe you've got the body aches. Maybe your, your strength is just way below what it normally is. So let's say you maybe try a couple push-ups and you're like, oh my God, these just feel so hard today. That's an indicator. That's a baseline measurement. If say three push-ups normally feels easy for you and suddenly out of the blue, they feel extremely difficult. Your body is sending you a signal right then and right there to tell you, I'm not up for this. 
So it's up to you to listen to these signs and signals that the body gives you and plan and train accordingly. So red means stop. Do not go past go, do not train. It means you should be working on resting, recovering, sleep, hydration, eating well, and letting your immune system recover. So that's kind of where I felt today. I had a decent sleep, uh, but I woke up and I'm still feeling a bit average, a bit crappy, and I was just like, okay, I, I was at orange yesterday, today I kind of felt like red. So the maximum that I would recommend if you're in the red is a walk. So I felt pretty average, and I was just like, nah. If I was to go and train, I would get absolutely nothing out of it. Even if it was that sort of moderate circuit type training session that I did yesterday, I'm probably not going to get much out of it. Yeah, sure, I can go and go through the motions, but for that, when I know specifically that my body isn't feeling as it usually is, I'm not going to get anything out of it. It's going to be a waste of time. So what I did is I put on my 15 kilo weight vest, my tracky pants, a hoodie, and I went for a one hour trail walk in the sun. I objectively assessed the situation. I do not feel good. I do not feel like my usual self. And I know what that feels like. I have very good self-awareness in terms of how I function, where my 100% is, and I know what's below that. And I was far away from 100%. So what I did is I went and I took my dog for a trail walk for an hour. I stayed nice and warm, I had tracky pants on, had a hoodie, had my 15 kilo vest on. I don't need any motivation to go for a walk. You shouldn't need any inspiration to get out and go for a walk. So it's one of these things you can really do anywhere under any circumstances, barring anything um, extreme in nature, okay? So that's what I did. I thought I'll get outside, I'll get some fresh air, I'll get some sun, I'll get some vitamin D, and I'll probably feel better for it. And I did, I was starting to breathe better at the end of that trail walk. There were some hills, there's no designated you know, footpath, there's sand, there's limestone, there's rocks, there's trees. It was awesome. I enjoyed it. So that's what I did. And that's the system you can use, green, orange, red. So you assess each day as it comes, and then you go from there. So people are always like, well, when can I go back to training? Well, it depends. How do you feel? Green is at 100%. Go. Train the house down, do whatever you want physically, go for it. Orange, we would call that to about 80%, maybe 75%, proceed with caution. If you go and do a warm-up and you start feeling good, cool, go and train. Maybe aim for the lower numbers on your reps. But if you start doing your warm-up and it feels kind of, oh, I still feel a bit average, I know it's just not gonna be a good training session, deviate from the plan, just do a circuit. Just do a whole body circuit, just move. And red is, you know, you're feeling like 50% or thereabouts. These aren't exact numbers, guys, by the way. So if it's, you know, if you know you feel shit, you're in the red zone. Stop. Do not train as planned. Rest, sleep, hydrate, eat well, and let your immune system recover. It's clearly fighting something. Give it a chance to actually overcome whatever it is that it's up against. And you just work on that on a day-by-day -day basis until you're back to 100%. Okay, you know you're 100%. You know when you feel good, you know when you feel average, and you know when you feel like shit. So the first thing is, the priority is to get you back to health, good health. And this is the thing, you can't have high performance without having good health first. Impossible. If your health sucks, you're not gonna function at a high level, at a high performance, it's not gonna happen. So your priority is to get, is to, Put all of your eggs and prioritize all of your actions to get you back to full function and at your 100%. So this is where a lot of people, they make a mistake and people do things in extremes. They're either all in or all out. So all or nothing. Okay, it's extremes that people tend to put themselves in. And your goal is to try and find the middle ground. In the middle is where it's at. So this is a very simple process that you can use. Do what you can with what you've got where you are. And that traffic system, that traffic light system will work for you. What can you do right now? 
So if you're feeling sick or maybe injured or a bit run down, good. Well, it's not really good, but you can look at it as an opportunity to work on areas which have been neglected. So let's say you're in the red zone and it's like, okay, I can't train. Ah, oh, are you gonna drop your lip on the ground and sulk about it and moan and whine and then throw the next, you know, three, four, five, six, seven days out the window? No. What you're gonna do is you're gonna work on the areas that you have neglected or you haven't put as a priority. So maybe it means you pick up that book that's gathering dust and you read your 10 pages. Develop your mind. Maybe this is an opportunity for you to drink your three liters of water. People always want to argue with me about this. I can't drink three liters. There's no way. It's just impossible. Well, have you tried drinking tea? Does tea count? Well, what do you put with the tea to make it tea? You put water in with the tea bag. So yeah, drink tea if you need it. It'll help you get extra antioxidants as well. So it's an opportunity to drink more water. Maybe it means you use a planner or you get your calendar out and you create a routine and structure so that once you do feel back to 100%, you're ready to go. You already have a system and you already have a plan in place for when you are back to full function. So you don't just have to sit there and wallow. Oh, I don't feel great. I can't do anything. That's what people do. And that's what people say is I can't do anything. Can't do anything, really. Anything at all. You, you can't do a single thing. I call bullshit. So you don't just sit there and wallow and say, woe is me. That's a cop out. That's not gonna help you progress forward. Sure, you can't do what you normally do and I'm frustrated that I can't do what I wanna do right now, but I know it's not forever. So this is what I recommend for you. Control your controllables. What is in your direct control? You can control your sleep. How much are you sleeping? Is it good quality sleep or is it broken sleep? Are you falling asleep on the couch, binge watching Netflix? Or do you have a set sleep time that you're in bed by? Focus on your hydration. Get your three liters of water. Get more if you can. Focus on some mobility work. If your strength levels are down and your fitness levels are down, you're feeling out of puff, work on your mobility. Maybe do some foam rolling. Maybe do a little bit of dynamic movement. Go for a walk if you feel like you can. Maybe you're in that orange or maybe you're in that red light zone. Okay, you can't go and sprint. You can't go and climb mountains. But maybe you can just go for a walk. Start with 10 minutes, see how that feels. And then also focus. What are you putting in your mouth and what are you putting in your brain? Are you sitting there watching the news and listening to the radio about garbage and stuff that is not going to progress you forward? Or are you actually learning, growing, and improving? Because that's all stuff you can control. What you listen to, who you surround yourself with, that's all in your control. So, to recap, when you are feeling a bit meh, or a bit under the weather, use the traffic light assessment. Green means go. Go and do whatever you want, train hard. Orange, proceed with caution. Start with a warm up. Maybe today is the day you hit your lower number, uh, the lower numbers on your rep range. Red, stop. Do not play. Uh, do not train as planned. Maximum walk. That's it. Your priority is to get back to 100% if you are in the red zone. So you have to base your actions and your intensity on that traffic light assessment. Green, 100%. Max out. Cool. If you feel great, go for it. And if you're in doubt, err on the side of caution. Because if you do less than what you feel you're capable of, good. It means that next time you can bump things up a little bit. But if you do something and you've erred on the side of caution and you feel like, oh, that was a good level. I'm glad I didn't do any more than that. You've hit the num you've hit you're on the money. So if you're feeling under the weather, it's not the end of the world doesn't mean you stop. It's not the end. It just means you have to work around it. So this is this is the thing, guys. I want you to try and really understand this. There is no pause button in life. So whenever people are faced with some form of, some form of adversity or struggle, 
and this includes getting sick, feeling under the weather. People wish they could press pause. There is no pause button. So don't waste the time wallowing, moaning, and bitching about it. Does it suck? Yes. Can you control it directly? No. Focus on what you can control and use it as an opportunity for growth. Focus on what you can. If you are using a habit tracker and you look back through your daily actions and you haven't been drinking three liters of water, that's a chance, that is an opportunity for you to improve that habit and that skill. What more of a perfect opportunity than if you're feeling shit? So guys, I hope that makes sense for you. Should you train whether you're feeling under the weather, that traffic light assessment will give you an indicator. Green means go, orange proceed with caution, red means stop. Objectively assess your situation and use that to make the best decision for your outcome and your goals that you're chasing. I hope that helps guys. If it does, please share it with somebody who you think might need this information. Like I said, we're coming into winter. It's gonna get cold, it's gonna get darker, it's gonna get windy, people are gonna get sick, people are gonna get tired, and they need a strategy for what happens when these times come. And you now have a framework for it. So share it with a friend or somebody who you think would benefit from it. That's all I ask. Thanks for listening, guys. I'll speak to you soon for another episode. Until then, have a great day morning, evening, or afternoon, whatever time you're listening. Thanks, guys. If you loved the wake-up call, found it entertaining, or got some benefit out of listening, I would appreciate you helping me to spread the word. Please, share it with a friend or on social media so that you can pay it forward and give someone else the opportunity to improve themselves like you just have. Thanks for listening. We'll see you soon for another episode.